Hey guys, Zix here. Today we are going to talk about getting open interest on your charts for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So as you can see, I already have it up here um, and it shows the exact, this is for Binance, you can see it right here. Uh, and it shows there's about 80k uh, right now open interest in Bitcoin. If we go over here, that matches up. You can see 80,917, 80, uh, which is very close uh, to what we are seeing right here. Uh, of course, the numbers vary a little differently because, you know, this doesn't update every second. Uh, so maybe it should go down. No, going up. Either way, uh, the, the values vary differently because uh, this is a live ticker and that isn't. Uh, but it's going to get you the general, the general area, right? Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of that uh, so you can see what we're doing. So this is just a Bitcoin USD chart, USDD chart. Uh, it's actually not on Binance. Is this Binance? Yeah, this is Binance here. Uh, big, big, it probably doesn't really matter, but if we're going to do it, we're going to do it. So uh, you, I have it saved as a favorite. You might as well do the same here. If you don't, just type in open interest. It'll pop it up. Um, initially, what you're going to see is nothing. Um, and the reason why that is, is because it's based on perpetuals. It's not perpetual futures. It's not based on um, the uh, spot. So there is no open interest spot. It's open interest is contracts that are open that haven't been filled yet. Uh, basically long and short orders that are sitting there waiting to be filled. Uh, so all we need to do, hit this down arrow here. It'll pop this up. Hit the settings cog. Tap override symbol. Type in BTC perp, and then you can select Bitcoin, perpetual futures, bam, overrides. Now it will show up, it will pop up on your chart. Um, the problem with this is let's go check out ADA. Cardano also has the Bitcoin open interest chart. So all we have to do is go here, change it to here, ADA perp right here. And couple ammo now we have Cardano Perpetual Futures Open Interest, excuse me, and that will now pop up on the chart and you can follow it. Uh, I'm not going to get into uh, TA on what that means, uh, on what on how to do uh, perpetual or uh, open interest and like using that for confluence. Uh, however, uh, those of you that already know how to do that and would like to get the open interest on your trading view chart, this is how you do it. Um, well, I guess I'll, I'll go into a short, a short, a short term explanation. Typically, when you see a big increase in open interest, usually you'll correlate that with uh, an increase in volume, and typically that means you're going to be having some sort of big move up or down. Uh, it doesn't uh, in, open interest going up doesn't really mean uh, you're going to have a, a pump or a dump necessarily. All it's really telling you is more people are hopping on the long or short. And that should, it should indicate some sort of a move is about to happen. Um, like I said, doesn't necessarily mean up or down. As you can see right here, this guy was pumping up and we went down. This is pumping up and it looks like we might be going up. Uh, if we backtrack a little bit, open interest really dropped, but we still dumped in price. So it can go both ways. Uh, but if you think about it, it really went up, but price didn't really move a whole lot. So if you ask me, this jump in open interest was people putting short orders. Let's get rid of that so we can see. Was people putting short orders here. Since they were building up these short orders over these few days, they finally hit and bam, price dumped. And then since all of those orders filled, open interest dropped. Uh, and then as we came down here, now all of a sudden it starts to go up. We get these moves here. Uh, we can you can back test it all you want, but that's the general philosophy. Of course, it's not a perfect science, um, but when you see, but when typically when you see open interest start to build, uh, you can expect some sort of range altering move coming. We are seeing that now on Bitcoin. This is only a 15 minute chart, so we're not uh, looking too crazy here. But let's go switch to the daily, um, and now you can kind of uh, get a, another look here. Um, if you checked my weekly analysis video a few days ago, I hypothesized that by about now we would be getting close to getting out of this. Um, we have had our SC, we've had our AR here. Um, I would ex oh, no, don't mess up my don't mess up my chart. 
Uh, I, I kind of expect us to now get close to this AR here, come back down and work our way out. Uh, so we'll see. Right now, this is this open interest is spiking, so I expect a big move. It could be up or down, like I said, uh, but it just helps you to prepare for a real breakout as opposed to people drawing triangles and then arrows and saying breakout. And that, my friends, is how you do open interest and a very, very brief explanation on how to do TA on it. Uh, down the road, I may do uh, a more educational video on understanding how open interest works. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you how you can make it work on pretty much any cryptocurrency. Thanks for watching. Uh, we have a Discord server linked in the description below. Uh, feel free to hop on, ask me questions. Um, we have a really, really great uh, premium service on there as well. And a lot of very smart people to have a chat with. So hope to see you stop on by. Take it easy.